Hi, I'm Christine. And I'm Mark. And welcome to tutorial 6. In this tutorial, we will show you how to give your player a health bar, so instead of losing on one hit by an enemy bullet, you now lose a little bit of health. When all your health is gone, you have to restart the game. Okay, let's see how the game should look when we're done. So when I get hit by a bullet, my health bar goes down. Also, when I hit a plane, my health bar goes down. If I lose all my health, I see that I lost and have to restart the level. So now that we've seen what the game will look like, we can unbold that from the list. Now let's open the file that the last tutorial left off at. Um, and we'll make an object called Lives Controller. It's going to be like View Controller in that it doesn't look like anything, it just manages information. Alright, so right click on Objects, then Create Object, name it OBJ underscore Lives Controller. First, let's set the health. So add a create event. Click add event, create. Go to the score tab. And under the health section, you see the set health icon. Drag that in. What does health mean? Health is a number from 0 to 100 that GameMaker has built in to manage your player's health. We should start the health at 100. After that, we can unbold that from the list. There's an event for when the player is out of health. Go to Add Event, Other, No More Health. This event is triggered when the health reaches zero or below. When this happens, we want the player to lose the level and have to restart. So we display a message telling the player that they lost. Under the Main 2 tab, there is the Display Message icon. Drag it in. Let's tell the player they ran out of health. After this, go to the Main 1 tab and drag the Restart Room icon in. Give it a transition, transition effect? Yep. Okay, so we've covered how to manage when there is no health left, so we can embold that. If we leave it like this, how will the player know how much health he has? He won't be able to know very easily, so let's draw a health bar on the screen so that the player can tell just by looking at the corner of the screen. To do this, go to Add Event and choose Draw Event. What's the Draw Event? The draw event also happens every step, but it's when things get drawn on the screen. Under the score tab, there's actually a draw health bar action, so drag the icon in. To put it at the bottom left of the screen, it, let's use these numbers. 12, view, underscore, y view, plus 449, 138, and view, underscore, y view, plus 459. In your math worksheets, you'll be working on what happens when you change some of these numbers and how the health bar will change in appearance by changing the numbers. We use the view y view variable because remember we want the health bar to be relative to the view so that it always appears on screen and doesn't disappear off screen when we scroll up. We've now drawn our health bar so we can unbold. Now that our lives controller object is complete, we have to put it in the room to make things work. We can put it anywhere in the room since it won't show up on the screen, and we told the health bar to draw relative to the view. I'm going to put it in the top left corner of the room next to the view controller object. We can unbold and play the game now. Okay, I see the health bar. Oh, but there's a problem. If I hit a bullet or a plane, I still instantly lose the level. Let's change the way that collision is handled. Okay. So start with the enemy bullet, and so you have to double click on the plane object. In the collision event with the bullet enemy, delete the restart room event. And now go to score tab and drag the set health action in. The value will be how much health we want to lose from being hit by a bullet. I'm going to choose minus 20 health for being hit so that I can withstand five shots before losing. Remember to check relative so that it knows to subtract 20 from the current health. Then the bullet also needs to be destroyed. Go to the main one tab, and drag the recycle bin, and check the other box. Now we can unbold this step. We also want to do the same thing for the enemy plane. 
Double click the enemy object in the collision with player event. Delete the restart room action. Then go to the score tab and set health. A crash with a plane is more damaging than a bullet, so I will make the value negative 50. Remember to check the relative box. When the plane crashes, the enemy plane should also get destroyed. So drag the recycle bin icon to destroy this instance when the player hits an enemy, so it's self in this case. We can now unbold the enemy plane health penalty. Let's play the game and see if it works this time. Okay. Okay, I see that I lose some health if I get hit by a bullet. If I hit, hit, get hit by a plane, I lose a lot of health. And when I take a hit that would bring me to zero, I have to restart the level. Looks good. Remember to ask your teachers if you have any questions and always save your work.